Hi guys, today we're going to be tackling an issue which is very common in a lot of households, which is water hammer caused by the washing machine. Water hammer is basically the shaking, rattling, or banging of your water distribution pipes when the water is being shut off abruptly. Washing machines and dishwashers are the most common causes of water hammer. This is due to using a solenoid valve to open and close the water to the appliance. This abrupt stoppage in water can cause damage to the water distribution system. A water hammer arrestor can be used to fix this issue. It uses an air cushion to absorb the impact from the abrupt stoppage of water. So let's start with showing you the water hammer, then we'll install these water hammer arrestors and show you how well they work. Okay guys, first steps first is turning the hot and cold off to the washing machine and then we'll remove the hoses. There'll be a little bit of water left in the hoses, so uh, put a towel down. It's a great time to inspect the condition of the hose, uh, if there's any leaks or anything like that. The one part you're going to want to inspect is the crimp joint. This is the most common um, spot that it'll burst if, if that were to occur. Uh, especially on the black hoses. If there's a bubble here, uh, just on the crimp joint, replace them as soon as possible. Um, the other thing is when you remove the hoses, if there's a screen, either uh, on the washing machine side or the hose side, is just to inspect it and remove any debris, if there's any there, so. And keep note of which side the hoses were connected on so you put it back hot and cold correctly. So I'll be installing the OD Quiet Pipes hammer arresters designed specifically for the washing machines. The reason I like these ones is they have a longer stem to actually clear the back of the washing machine. So let's just unpack these and uh, we can install them. They have a rubber gasket just on the uh, threads here. So you want to put these hand tight, pretty much as tight as you can go. We can get it threaded. Careful not to cross thread them. Kind of working over the camera here, so. So tight as you go, hand tight. Try to keep the, the arrestor aiming straight up. Same with the cold. We'll take the wrench and it's only basically about a quarter turn, no more than a half. Don't want to over tighten these, so. And there's no need for Teflon tape on this as they use the, the O-ring uh, or the, the washer as, as the seal. Now to just to hook the hoses back up, uh, just inspect the washer before installing, make sure it's not damaged and you can install it the same way. So just hand tight first, pretty much as tight as you can go. Same with the cold. And then we're just gonna do a quarter turn. You can hold the valve here just to support it and just give it about a quarter turn to a half turn. That's good to go. You don't want to over tighten these, you'll snap them right off. So just be careful when you're tightening them up. Uh, next step is just turn on the water and we'll give her a test. Turn the water back on and then you can check all your connections. Let it sit there for a minute or two just to make sure. Um, even after we run the washing machine, you're going to want to double check all the connections as well. So I'm just going to push the uh, washing machine back. You always want to be careful not to smash these into the back of the wall. So uh, just move it back, just be careful how they, they don't get bent up. You can see here that the hoses have stopped shaking and the pipes have stopped banging. Hi guys, I hope this video helped you out and cured your water hammer issue. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If uh, you like videos like this one, feel free to subscribe as we're always putting out new content. And remember, never stop learning.